In this section, we're going to look at writing the computer code to combine signals together. This is a fundamental process when working with audio signals. We have things like an audio console, which will allow us to mix signals together. We call it a mixing console. Or a digital audio workstation. Software allows us to blend signals together to perform digital summing. This is one of the many things that we're going to look at here. In our previous section on amplitude processing, we looked at how we could take a signal and use an operation like multiplication with an individual number, which will scale the amplitude of our signal. Or we could take our signal and add a number to it. This will perform a DC offset. In this section, we're going to look at using operations to add signals together, or also to multiply them together. We can do things like digital summing, or create amplitude fades to fade in or fade out, or also perform amplitude modulation, better known as the tremolo effect. So first, let's open up our digital audio workstation and look at several different ways of combining signals together. Here I'm going to demonstrate a few examples about the important concepts to understand when it comes to the different ways that signals can be combined together. We'll start out with by looking at what's commonly referred to as blending, mixing, or summing signals. Here in my digital audio workstation, I have two tracks, each with their own separate sound file. You can zoom in. The signal on the top here is a pure tone of 440 hertz. The one on the bottom is 880 hertz. Play them back so you can hear how they sound separately. So for this example, what we're going to do is combine them both together and create one new sound file that has both of these signals. So here what I'll do is set them up so that they're both going to the same track that we're going to add them together or sum them together to create this new sound file. Now I'll zoom in. We can see that the signal that we created is no longer a pure tone. In fact, it's a complex waveform. It has two frequencies at the same time. If I mute these other signals here, we'll just listen back to this one and notice that has two frequencies. So that's the process of adding two signals together or mixing them together. Let's look at another example, but a different way of combining signals together. This is going to be where we use multiplication. One thing that we can accomplish by using multiplication is what's called audio fades. In this case, we'll apply a fade to the beginning and the end of this sound file that we just created. In Pro Tools on the Fade menu, we can select different types of fades. I'll start out with by switching on the linear fade, and I can also set then the duration, 1000 milliseconds or one second, at the beginning and end. We can listen and hear that the amplitude now is changing, starting from zero up to the maximum value. So that's called the linear fade. We can also set what's called a quadratic fade. So that's another way that we can combine signals together, and we'll look at that later on here. So I'll show you a third example, but this is still going to be using multiplication. This is the process of doing amplitude modulation. So I'll start out with a test signal. This is going to be white noise that we're going to work with. So here's the noise. Now what I'm going to do is modulate the amplitude of it. In audio or music, this type of effect is commonly referred to as tremolo. So here is a plugin from Native Instruments called Guitar Rig. It has the model of a guitar pedal in here that would accomplish this tremolo effect. So I'll bring it in. You can hear how it sounds. So in this case, we're modulating the amplitude of the noise relative to another signal. Here's another plugin that does a similar kind of thing. This is Tremolator from Sound Toys, just has a slightly different sound.
And one more example, this is the filter gate plugin that comes stock with Pro Tools. It sounds like this. So that's a couple different examples of amplitude modulation with noise. Let me go ahead and bring up an audio signal so we can hear how some of these things sound with an acoustic guitar part. First, let's listen to using audio fades. So here I'll apply a fade about two seconds long to the sound file and watch what happens to the amplitude. All right, then let's also use the tremolo effect. In this case, bring up guitar rig. And we'll apply it to the acoustic guitar part. So there you have a few different examples of the concepts of different ways that signals can be combined together.